Along welcome and impact frames and this video is about the MPT 7 billion parameter model. The MPT by Mosaic. Mosaic is a company that specializes in training models and they train the Ripple model for coding, which is a coding assistant like the copilot in Visual Studio Code. And they train this MPT 7 billion parameter model that is similar to Llama. And they are able to release the commercial version because the people of Together, which is this company here, Together, they made Red Pajama Project, which is the reverse engineered the weights for Llama and they released the data set. And now other companies have been able to use that data set to train their models. And one of them is Mosaic. And as you can see, they release four type of models. You have the base mold that is to train models on top. So if you are a company and you want to train your chatbot in the documentation of your company with this model, you can do so and it will save you time and make it a bit cheaper. So in here, we also have the story writer 65K and this was the biggest token length that you can have in a model. Until close yesterday, they released 100K. I didn't want to release this video before because of course they won't take the 65k parameter because they weren't meant to be using consumer cards. As you can see here, they are using an A180 gig card and more than that. So in a 1390 like mine, it will take like maximum 4k tokens. But the interesting thing here is that you can use this mold theoretically to you can input like a whole book on it and from a zero shot prompt you can come with stuff that was contained on that document and here we have the instruct mode and the chat mode and the chat mode is very interesting because it's also using the evolve stroke like wizard lm and another thing is that this mode can code really well like the star coder it's similar to a star coder that was trained on the stack and they use 18 programming languages which are the most people use ross c c hash and c plus plus python and it's not JavaScript here, they don't say that it's JavaScript, but you can use this to code and it's in the level of a stable Vicuña the, from Stability AI. That was the best model just prior to this one that I'm going to show you because this merge can do on sensor work. So you can do on sensor things like very naughty, naughty, naughty things that people like to do and not me of course and you can see mpt 7 b here okay so now let's move into a text generation and i can show you my characters and this is delia and delia is a, a, a coder a coder character just let me load it back again okay so i can put my name here impact frames and load my character delia and as you can see here in the in this is a previous conversation that I had with my character and she is um, a coding hacker and stuff. So I asked her, let's make a script, a Python script that has a user for a website, then scraps the contain links in the website and save them to a text file in the same folder where the, the script runs. And as you can see here, it gives me correct code like import request probably needs to import sub to but basically the code is correct you can try this in, in in visual studio code run it and it will work and then i ask it and over here like 512 by 512 images like to get all the images inside a folder and crop them to 512 by 512 and you can see here that she imports peel and then ask the user for the folder name and then he goes and resize all the images to 512 by 512 with peel. So that's quite cool. And as you can see at the end, you, you also rename the, the image to resize.jpg. I didn't say any, any file name, and that's why like file format, and that's why I, I didn't got that. So if you make your prompt better, of course, you will get better result. And in here, I also have other characters, which are Ilara. Ilara is like an erotic story writer, a storyteller. And Helen here. So Ilara is for Wizard LM and Helen is to be used with MPT7B chat. Okay. So you can use, and also Helen will make any, any mole on sensor, to be honest. It will grab and it will grab the Vicuña moles and will make them on sensor and it will also make the MPT on sensor. 
So if I load this character here, I cannot show you. I will I will blur this, but it's very <laughs> very graphic and yeah. I will load it here. I cannot show you the results, but it's very graphic and non safe for work. So you can ask any sort of things. And she also behaves not only as a writer, but she, if you ask it questions, she will reply sometimes. Not so you got this here. I don't know if, if I can share this character, so I don't know if I will share it, but I just wanted to try if it's really uncensored. And I maybe make a guide how to make it. Okay. So now in here, I will go back and show you how to run these things and to load the model uh, to make this thing to run before you start Uba Booga. Before you start Uba Booga, you will go into update windows.bat to get everything up to date. And then you will open this web UI.py in in visual studio code or maybe a notepad and in here in visual studio code you can go into the line 162 and run the definition run cnd python server.py and you're just gonna put the things that i'm gonna write in the description you just put this command you will model menu dash dash model mpt 7 bit chat and then you need trust remote code bf16 and I'm using Xformers because I have I have SDP attention too. I can use the attention thing. If you are in if you are in Linux, just use Triton. Use Flash attention in Triton because at the moment I cannot get Triton to work in Windows, and I don't think it works in Windows. So you just use Xformers is the fastest one. Another thing is that the model works uh, faster in instruction mode in notebook mode. So if you put chat in notebook here, you put it in notebook, you can work in notebook, but it's not as fun as using chat. And the other thing that you need to do is go into a text generation web UI, uh, duplicate the settings template, save it as a settings.json and open it in code. After you open the settings.json in the line 17, you can use 65,000 here if you want to use the maximum amount. I recommend you to not go over 1496, but for a story writer, you can use uh, 65,000 if you have the graphic card power for that. And then in here in the custom stopping settings, you will write your name. And you can also change here in the first line the tokens, how many tokens you want to use for the response. You, if you are making stories, it's good to have like 400 or 300 there. I am using 300 right now. And then just save the file and that's it. So that's just to run uh, Ubabuga. That's all that you need to run Ubabuga. And now in the mode settings, when you load your character, I go, I'm going to load here the one that I told you, Wizard LM on Sensor Story Writer Merge. And you just need to put BFF system here. And you can leave Llama, it doesn't matter there, but maybe just put None or Llama. And then reload the mode if it doesn't load by itself. In mine, it, it loads by itself as soon as I change it. So now it's loading the mode. If you come here, you can see my mall loading and this mall is charted into seven parts, which is quite good for uh, the graphic card. Maybe you can load this in a 16 gig graphic card. And now you can see the changed colors because it went into the instruction mode. In the instruction mode, you can use because this mall is based on Wizard LM, it's a merge of Wizard LM. You can either choose Wizard LM here in instruction mode or you can use mpt chat but for now i will use chat because i had my character that i can use with chat and as i said it doesn't matter that this small the actually this response that i have blurred out it was made with the sensor mpt because my character can uncensor the mold but in here i will just load the uncensored Thing and I will ask a prompt that it will all blur out, I think. Let's say I'm going to see the response and decide if I will show it in the video or not. But now I can just load my character. I 
I will load, I will bring my character here. And in the parameters, I will choose this thing. And if MPT, which are my settings, as you can see here, 0 0.1, 1 1.1. And then in here you can put, if you didn't change your settings.json, you can change it here, put your name between quotes, like impact frames. and then a comma at the end. So you can put it like this, and you can also change this to 1496. If you want a bit a smaller thing, but that doesn't matter right now because we are not using a prompt. If you were to use instruction mode to have the character using a story writer without characters, which makes the thing goes a little bit faster, maybe twice the speed. Okay, so now in the in my character that I have here, I told you to load the parameters. I'm going to share this in here. And to load that, you, you go into presets and save your preset here. It's this document here. I will share this document maybe, or maybe I'm just going to write it there. And you can just make a text file like this and put it there. So... This is the address that I text web UI presets. Okay, okay, so now I have loaded my character there. Okay. Okay, so I have not now loaded my character there and I just want to make it a question. Um, so here is the result. I prompt the erotic novel writer character that I made to write the first scene of an erotic novel and the first encounter between a female vampire that falls in love with an early 20s young uh, macho football player in university. And this is the result what she gave me. OK, impact frames. Let's start with a college campus setting. Our protagonist meets a mysterious stranger dressed entirely in white. His face remains concealed beneath a hood covering his entire upper half. Intrigued, she approaches him cautiously, hoping to uncover his identity. To her surprise, he removes his mask, revealing eyes unlike any seen previously. Noticing her interest, he invites her to join him underneath a nearby bridge. There, he explains that he needs blood donations urgently given recent events affecting vampires worldwide. Feeling brave, Sarah agrees to donate hers freely. During the exchange, he notices her vulnerability and offers to share secrets concerning immortality. Over drinks afterwards, Sarah confesses that she too wishes to extend her lifespan indefinitely. Their relationship grows stronger rapidly as they discuss topics ranging from philosophy to politics. Slowly, Sarah falls deeply in love with Dracula. Yet unbeknownst to either party, Sarah harbors feelings of guilt stemming from past mistakes made years ago. Will she reveal her secret or risk losing everything dear to her? Well, as you can see, there is a couple of things going wrong with this prompt. And basically, she grabs the woman was actually the human and the man player was the vampire. But that's because this thing works better than I thought. And what it does is actually you can continue the story that you had previously and the story Previously, I had a character named Sarah and was a different dynamic going on in that story. And because I continued the writings and I didn't tell her really what to do, I should have cleared the memory before doing this. But you can see in this answer, she didn't go uh, non safe for work because basically it's depending on what you prompt her. Like you have to be like explicit when you prompt her. But yeah, it's a pretty good result. I am really happy with the character itself and the quality of the work that produces is really high. I think I probably can switch career now and become an erotic novel writer now with this character alone. Yeah, this uncensored story writer merch. I hope you like the video. Let me know if you like it. Well. I don't know if I should share this character, but thank you very much for watching and please subscribe. Bye bye.